Welcome to Mind, Body and Soul. I am your host, John Morris, and I hope you are doing great wherever you are in the world today. I just wanted to share with you a wonderful, wonderful little video of a, of a live talk presentation I was giving all about why we must be really careful on how we speak and how we think. Our thoughts are the ancestors to every single thing that we do. Nothing that has been created or will be created has been created without thought. And in this video and audio program, I want to share with you a couple of stories on, uh, from, from almost from a business perspective, but you can apply this to your own life as well, into your personal life and spiritual life, on why we must be really, really careful as to how we think and what we do. And we're going to join this in progress now. So I hope you enjoy this. So why you should be careful regarding your business. First of all, you've got to realize that your business is there to help and serve another. That is the purpose of business, is to provide a service for somebody else to fix a problem that they have. A plumber fixes a leak, a builder builds a house, an artist creates a picture, an author writes a book on a subject which you need the information to. Um, a, a, a road layer lays a road. You know, a window cleaner cleans a window so you can see out of it. You know, someone builds a computer to make your life even easier. Every person, every business is all to serve somebody else. In service to somebody else, we realize that actually all of business is divine. Got, got news for you folks, it's divinely appointed. It is something you've wanted to do since you were here, or since you were, you were put here on earth, and you've probably wanted to do it for a very long time. That desire that comes from inside of you is, is divine. But here's the kicker. As soon as you start thinking that you are someone, or as soon as you start thinking that that you don't like your business or that you start griping because it's too much work or it's too much this, that and the other. Remember, this is what you wanted. This is, you know, ultimately what you wanted. And if it can be divinely appointed, it can also be divinely unappointed, which is why you must be really careful on how you speak and think about your business. The reality is, if you're not careful on how you speak and think about your business, then all the sales that have been flooding in, that you've been rejoicing over, can quickly stop. In another video, we're going to cover why you are the center of your business. Because at the end of the day, if you don't take care of you, your business will not flourish because you'll be going into it negative. I want to tell you a story really quickly. I used to work, my, my second job, I used to work for, uh, for an organization. Its, uh, its main purpose was to sell UPVC doors, windows, fascias, suffets, all of that kind of stuff. And they always said to me, you know, I was like 16, 17 years old when I began with them. I knew nothing. I knew nothing uh, at that time. And they always said, John, in the sales game, you can be here one moment and thriving and succeeding. And the next day you come into work and everything's closed up because the business has gone under. That is the nature of sales. It doesn't really make you feel very secure now, does it? <laughs> and the reality is it was true. They were some of the most negative, toxic people that I had ever, ever or would ever encounter. And we're not talking a little bit of negativity here, folks. We're talking about people ripping banisters off the wall and receptionists wanting to run around with the boobs out and uh, uh, the, the, the main owner that was, you know, really just angry and frustrated all the time and needed her place in life and the only way she felt she could get it was through dominance of other. And needless to say, 18 months after I left, I got news that the business had actually closed, the company had folded, and 
a friend of mine who worked there had gone in one day to find everything locked up. Her car had been taken. Her home had just about been repossessed and she had nothing. Divinely appointed, divinely unappointed. And part of the reason that I really believe, and I always tell people this, you know, that I, I learned how not to do business by watching these people. Because they would talk about their customers as if they were something that they stepped in. As if they were something they were entitled to. Oh, the owners did really, really well and succeeded, but everyone else was out of a job. So folks, you need to understand that your business is a privilege. That your business is a gift. It's a gift from God. You are here to serve somebody else. It is not about you. You can enjoy the success, you can enjoy the money, the wealth, the fame, the fortune, everything else that comes with it. But your business is not about you. Your business is how can I serve and help somebody else? How can I put a smile on somebody else's face by fixing the problem that they are facing? Once you figure that out, you've just unlocked the key to heaven, my friend. Because once you figure out how to serve and that your business is not about you, you will also figure out that the more people you can serve and the more service your product or service can be, the more money you'll earn, the more fame you'll get, the more respect you'll get, and it will come the right way. <laughs> and you'll enjoy everything that you do. Getting up in the morning won't be difficult for you because you'll be able to get up and like, yes, I'm serving somebody, I'm doing something incredible to help somebody today. And that's something that you need to remember. It's a gift from God. You're serving somebody else. And ultimately, be very careful on how you think about your business, how you talk about your business, how you act about your business. Because at the end of the day, just as it's divinely appointed, I don't care whether you believe in divine spirit or not, and I'm sharing this with you from my own experience, just as it's divinely appointed, and you're here with a purpose, you're here with a reason, it can also be divinely unappointed. And you can be left with nothing until you figure out your business is not about you. Thank you so much for listening, my friends. Take care. God bless. Namaste, my friends. Thank you.